Hey, this is Jeff Ramos from Polygon.com. And I'm Allegra Frank, also from Polygon.com. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Allegra. Look at this little guy shoving his sausages around. So we've spent a lot of time in the past few weeks playing Steven's Sausage Roll. Yeah, we have. And I, I think a lot of people still don't really know what Steven's Sausage Roll is, Jeff. So if you had to like define this wonderful sausage grilling game, how would you boil it down? How would you boil down this sausage? Well, first of all, you're not boiling the sausages. Uh, I think the thing that people need to know the most about this game is that it's about grilling sausages. I've heard a lot of people refer to it as the Dark Souls of puzzle games. And that is not incorrect. Uh, it's just, It's... Existentially odd, the mechanics of the game, the control scheme of the game, and just the overall lack of anything helping you figure out what to actually do makes Steven Sausage Roll just a difficult and fun and oftentimes rewarding experience. I mean, one, it, it's rewarding if you ever manage to solve these puzzles. So I've been playing this game for like two weeks. I think we both have for like two weeks. It just came out yesterday on Steam. And it basically has you armed with a barbecue fork. You're this tiny little guy you see right there, and you're on this weird island full of sausages, inexplicably, um, at least as far as I know. I haven't gone too far into the lore yet. And you're trying to grill the sausages on these little square grills, but you have to get the sausage perfectly grilled on both sides without completely burning it. So you'll see here that I'm really terrible at this. It's really, really hard to maneuver these sausages around because it's so geometric. Um, and you're more familiar with uh, the game designer Stephen Lavelle's work, so you can maybe speak to if that's you know common for his other puzzle games. But it's like this really geometric, pr like problem solving. It's super mathematical and. For me, like, I don't think that way. I'm not very good at games in general, but I'm especially not very good at puzzle games. So to actually, like, maneuver these sausages around is so challenging. It's so hard. But once you actually manage to do it, which I very rarely can, then it's just, like, the most satisfying feeling ever. Yeah, and from a game design perspective, so much of it is intentional. There's so much space you have. There's so many a finite number of real actual moves you can do, which makes the game so difficult. And a lot of his games, learning how to even play the game and maneuver in space is part of it. Uh, so one of his most, uh, his other commercial game, uh, English Country Tune, which is also just a game with an odd name that seems to make sense and not make any sense at all at the same time, each sort of stage of the game is a separate entire mechanic and you have to learn how to even get around the game before you even learn how to solve puzzles within the game whereas something like witness is a pretty date you know jonathan blow had a pretty straightforward mechanic and he wanted to push that to the logical limits whereas in this game it's you have to even learn what to even do to even start playing the game and an interesting thing about this game too is that it's sort of impossible to you know quote unquote brute force puzzles and solutions whereas there's been a few puzzles in the witness where i kind of just goofed around with the mouse and actually solved the puzzles, whereas it's near impossible to do in this game because every block in this, every turn you make, every movement you make is has to have some intention. And there's some idea that you need to figure out in each individual puzzle that makes them all difficult. But over time, from like a puzzle solving perspective, you're trying to figure out what am I learning wrong? What am I missing? What are the pathways? If I move this sausage back, does that mean I can move this sausage up? And a lot of those things don't scale in most puzzles where you're learning one mechanic and then you see how that's applied in each one. Whereas it almost seems like every single puzzle is its own mechanic and philosophy and it's it's difficult. Yeah, God, this game is so cruel. Like, look at this puzzle. This is just the worst. Um, so basically, I think it's kind of cool that you're referencing The Witness because Jonathan Blow is one of the biggest proponents of this game. And he and I talked to him and uh, Bennett Foddy, who made Quop, which is another really hard, kind of tricky game. Um, so they both think it's like a super interesting puzzle game because of what you're saying, like all of the puzzles have a very specific way that you're supposed to maneuver these sausages around like it's never like okay so you learn how to move the sausage on this one puzzle the next puzzle is just going to add another sausage and you have to just kind of figure out how to do the same thing but with an additional item to maneuver around it's every single puzzle has a different little <laughs> trick to it and this is the worst freaking puzzle i've ever played in my life look at this jeff yes. this is cruel yeah as i say oh you solved it pretty quickly and the funny thing about this puzzle was like okay the mechanic of like you flip the sausage over twice and you it's pretty straightforward but now even exiting the puzzle has become a puzzle and i think that's 
something I haven't seen often in games, and I think that is both genius and, I can, I'm sure you can agree, incredibly cruel. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. I was so upset when I was playing this puzzle because, yeah, it seems so simple. Like, even the, the simplest solutions are not actually the solution. So for this one, like, I just moved the sausages onto the little grills like I was supposed to both sides, and then I can't get out of the puzzle. And Steven Sausage Roll is the worst game ever, basically. You know, final note on that too, just the level of reward you feel when you've actually solved the puzzle is in intense. I remember when we actually first got the game in the office, we were sort of playing in tandem and trying to solve things. And even just the communication language of like how to move and how can I express what I'm thinking in my head to tell you how to do is incredibly difficult. And I, I liked in a lot of the movement style to res the original Resident Evil, where it's straightforward. You just wanted to get out of the room with the zombie dogs, but the way you move is not the way your mind thinks. And you have to... You have this very limited move set inside of this very difficult game and then trying to maneuver in and out of things in itself becomes difficult. But the moment we solved the first puzzle together, I think we roared in a way with such with such energy that I think it was also deserved because there's it was the first time we a, figured out the mechanics of the game but also figured out the mechanics of how puzzles should be solved. And that's really rewarding. And I think for many of the people who are playing the game, those victories are going to become few, few and far between. But when you actually get to them... It's great, but like we said before, what you learn in one puzzle doesn't necessarily translate to the others, so it's a constant uphill battle. Um, but I'm excited to roll some more sausages later this week. Oh man, I can't wait to grill some more sausages with you.